Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this particle disintegration effect in After Effects that too without using any third party plugin. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it to disintegrate any object you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I come to After Effects and here I have already imported this video clip in which I am just taking my hand and snapping out. Now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever object you want just make sure that your shot is stable and also make sure to take some empty frame without any object so you need these two things so once you are done with this you can just simply import your clip and let's drag it over here i'm going to quickly go to the area in which i want my transition to start so as soon as my hands come in so i want the transition to start from here let's move it over here so here you can see I just snap my finger and after that my hand will disappear. So let's just go to a point. So somewhere around here I want it only this region. So I'm going to split this by pressing Ctrl Shift T. Now let's move to a point where we have our hand outside this frame. So I'm going to use this one. Now just simply right click time and let's freeze frame. So now we have this entire clip in which we don't have our hand. Now I'm going to move it to the very beginning. Now the first step is to separate our hand from this clip so for that we are going to use the rotoscope so just select the roto brush tool and let's set this to full for now and double click on your video clip after that you can just simply click and drag onto your object and after effects will include everything that is inside this pink region first i'm going to change the quality to best now let's quickly zoom in and now we are basically going to include just our hand in this so for that i'm going to just quickly go to a point where i want the transition to start so somewhere around here now i'm going to select this point and let's move it like all the way over here and we can hold on the alt key to remove all the unnecessary objects so if i hold on the alt key you can see the cursor changes to red now i can just simply click and drag and here you can see it will discard all of these regions now if you want to include something then you can just simply click and drag without the alt key now it will include all of this region now I'm going to quickly do this thing and just include all the region that I want in my object. So basically all this hand portion. So remove all the unnecessary part. Here you can see we have removed everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this cursor like a little bit and see after effects will follow this along. So here you can see it is tracking my hand nicely and I'm going to do it like a little bit more ahead just to see if none of the areas are included that we don't want so i think after effects is doing a very good job in removing all of this unnecessary part once you think that the roto is sticking to your object we can freeze the frame by simply clicking on this icon so what it will do is it will remove all the background and it will only include our hand now the roto part is done and if i go back here you can see we have our hand now if i disable this background layer, you can see we have nicely cut out our hand and we don't have any kind of background over here so once you're done with this, we can quickly select our layer, then right click, pre-compose this and make sure that move all attribute is set. Now I'm going to call this one hand, just click on OK. So here we have our hand composition. Now we are going to select this layer and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on the top one, we are going to apply our particle effect. So let's search for CC particle system 2. Let's drag it onto this top layer. And once you have it over here, there are a couple of things that we have to change. So let's go under the physics. And first we are going to change the type from explosive to fire. And after that, we are going to change a couple of more settings over here. So under the producer, I'm going to increase the X radius to 15 and Y radius to 30 so that we have like these many particles. And let's do a couple of things. So under the particles, we are going to quickly change the color to white and this one we can like set it to very light gray sort of color like this now we don't want the particles to come from everywhere we only want it to appear where we have our hand so for that we have to check this source alpha inheritance now our particles will only emit where we have our hand and we are going to quickly animate its position so let's go to this position of the producer and i'm going to move it like to this point so let's go to a point where we snap our finger so somewhere around here and I'm going to like move it away so that none of the particles are visible. So as soon as our hand goes like this, we can add a keyframe for position. And let's go to somewhere, let's press U and let's go to somewhere around, let's say 40 frames. And I'm going to move this point to all the way over here. 
where we have the end of our hand like this. Now if I press play, you can see as soon as we snap, the particles will start emitting from the starting point and they will go to this point like that. Now under the physics, we are going to change a couple of these settings. So first velocity, I'm going to set this to 0.4. Gravity, I'm going to set this to 0. And extra, I'm going to set this to 0 as well. Now if I press play, you can see we have these particles coming out. Now we want them to be like a little bit more. So I'm going to set the birth rate to let's say 150 so that we have a bunch of different particles like that. So here you can see we have all these particles coming out nicely. Now, as soon as our particle starts like emitting from our hand, we also want the bottom hand to be gone as well. So for that, we can apply a linear wipe effect and let's drag it onto this bottom layer. And for this, we can just simply control the transition completion. And let's just set this to zero. And I'm going to quickly change the angle to let's say something like that. Perfect. Now let's select this, press U. And in the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero so that everything is visible. And at this point, I'm going to change its value to 100 so that the whole hand is gone. Now, if I press play, you can see our hand is dissolving as we are moving but we also want to add some feather to smooth this hard edge so for that we can increase this value let's say 200 something so now if i press play you can see as soon as we snap our hand starts dissolving like that now we can move these keyframes like a little bit close so that this is like a little bit fast Perfect. So here you can see we have our disintegration effect. Now our next step is to add some really nice glow as our hand is dissolving. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bottom layer and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on the bottom one, I'm going to apply a couple of effects. So first I'm going to apply fill and let's search for fill and let's drag it over here. And for the color, I'm going to make it like blue like that. And let's just click on OK. Also, let's apply some glow. Search for glow and drag it over here. For the threshold, I'm going to set this to 5 and glow radius, let's set this to 400. After that, we can change its mode to add. Now you can see it is glowing for the entire region, but we only want it to glow at this outer edge. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now let's select the bottom one and I'm going to change its track mat to this layer, the above one. And also I'm going to change it to luma mat and let's set this to inverted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these layers and let's just delay them like a little bit ahead. And after that, I'm going to delay this layer like a couple of frames ahead. So here you can see we have this very nice glow and we can play around with it more by simply delaying it like a little bit more. So here you can see we have this very nice glow following our hand. Now it's completely up to you. We don't have to actually see them in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them and let's press T for opacity. Let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero so that it is not visible. And let's move this keyframe like a little bit ahead. Now let's enable all of these layers. And now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice glow coming in. Now if you think that the glow spread is too much, then you can play around with the glow radius can play around with it and let's just reduce it like that. So now if I press play, you can see we have our hand and it disintegrates like that. Now at last you will notice that it disappears like all of a sudden. So we can easily fix that by simply going inside this comp. We basically have to extend it like a little bit more. So first I'm going to increase the duration. So from three, we can set this to 10 and let's just open this up. Now I'm going to select this layer. Let's right click. And let's pre-compose this once again. And I'm going to call this hand cutout. Make sure that move all attribute is set. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D, then right click time and let's just freeze frame. And now I'm going to place this at the very end like that so that we have this elongated clip at the end. Now if I go back and now if I press play, you can see particles won't go away like all of a sudden, they will stay over here. Also, you can add some opacity transition. So somewhere around here, we have this and after that we can make them go away just like this. 
So here you can see we have this very nice disintegration effect and you can use this kind of technique to like disintegrate any object you want. All you need is a subject that you can rotate out and a plain background with nothing in it. So I hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. Also the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there. And if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. And with that being said my name is Abhishek and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.